I don't know if you've ever lived in a greenhouse, it was weird. I lived there for two weeks. You ever lived in a greenhouse? We've all done it once, haven't we? You know, we've all... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you've got high maintenance audience tonight, is it? I lived in a it was weird in a greenhouse. You had to sort of, I didn't really know how to prepare myself for it. And uh, the only thing I had was that old saying. Remember that old saying? They said, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And on the first day, I realised that it's not a good idea to wank during the day either. <laughs> I don't like my tomatoes, I don't know why I'm thinking of... <laughs> but I, I actually, I'm, I'm living with my girlfriend now. I do have a girlfriend, yes, it's possible, right? Thank you for that group there. Um, but no, it is possible. And it was weird because I've, I've always struggled in relationships, mainly because people are always obsessed with how I fucking look. I don't think I look particularly weird, but people are always... I, I don't think people know how, what to make of me, whether I'm mildly attractive, good looking, ugly as fuck. It's not really... I was in a pub a couple of months ago. And it's like a group of lads, a group of girls, a group of lads, a group of girls, we all go out, and the, the girls have stuff, they're all talking about stuff, and evidently, the girls who we were with were talking about, like, attractiveness in men, and standards, and the girl spun around and used me as exhibit A in her conversation. She goes, now Richard, right, see, he's not very attractive, right? She said this out loud, I'm like, fuck, fucking, fucking, fucking much, but I really needed your fucking opinion right now, this is going to be great, right? And, and she tried to dig her way out of it, she realised she'd said something a bit insensitive, she tried to dig her way out of it by going, you're not very attractive, oh, but you're very noticeable. <laughs> well, that's not fucking good, is it? If you're not attractive, the last thing you want to be is noticeable. <laughs> the elephant man was unattractive, but noticeable. <laughs> Last year during Christmas dinner, my nan fired and shit herself. That was unattractive, but noticeable. It was hilarious, a lot for a fortnight. It was brilliant, right? But... And, it was, and it was always weird going up. The thing I always liked about growing up was when you got, um, when you start going and seeing girls and that, but you've always got that one mate who never lets go of the thrill of masturbation. Right? You know, from, from a teen, every, blo every bloke in here has got at least one mate who takes wanking a little bit too seriously. Right? If you're sat there thinking, I haven't got that mate, it's because it's you. <laughs> My mate, he was named Steve. He was obs he literally, he had fucking dissertations, toes written. He'd fucking sit there for like blueprints trying to work this shit out. He had an iPhone app, everything. Like, he, he was obsessed with that. He tried to come up with new ways to fucking do it. One morning, right, we're at college, I'm 19 years old. He comes running up to me, excited with his new discovery. He said, Rich. What hand do you wank with? This is how we started a conversation, right? I'm eating a baguette, I don't need this, right? What hand do you wank with? And I said, and I said, well, well I'm right-handed. And he went, right, next time you have a wank, don't use your right hand, use your left hand, because it will feel like a woman's doing it. And he's right, because it's fucking shit, right? <laughs> Moving towards where the claps were, away from the women in the front. <laughs> You're welcome to prove me wrong later. <laughs> and also, I mean, I always get, I, I had a problem, I was always, uh, my problem with women was, uh, I'm shit in bed. This is really, I, it's not normally the sort of thing I'd announce to a room full of strangers through a microphone in a club, but maybe that was what I was, where I was going wrong. But, you know, the thing was, I think it's almost premature ejaculation was my um, problem, right? In the pre well, it got really bad. I mean, pre it's pre prehistoric in times. Yeah. I was, I, premature ejaculation was so bad, I was actually coming two shags in advance, right? <laughs> Seriously, there's women in this room tonight who I've probably disappointed and you don't even know it yet, right? <laughs> I don't like the term premature ejaculation. It's too negative. You know, enthusiastic, right? You know, the, Inconvenient, maybe, as well. <laughs> and all I hated about premature ejaculation was the fact it's always the man's fucking problem. Right? It's, always the, it's always the man who always gives me Why can't you just slow down? Why can't you fucking hurry up? Let's have some compromise here, right? <laughs> Girls, if you could all go orgasm after 10 seconds without much effort, you'd fucking take that, wouldn't you? Right? So don't fucking persecute me because I'm more highly evolved than you, right? <laughs> Get with a program, it's a fucking 21st century, things gotta speed up. I sound like I'm having a go at, at girls out, and I don't want to come across the misogynist, because um, you never get a shag out that way, will you? But, <laughs> I don't want to come across misogynist. I do believe that, you know, I do believe in equality. I think men and, and, I think men and, women, men and women are equal. We are both 
as useless, fucking stupid, irresponsible, untrustworthy, and downright fucking retarded as each other, right? <laughs> and and with, see, if I was to ask any woman here, I'll tell you a story, right? It's a story from when I was 23. I was going out with this girl, we've been together for a few months, and like, she was quite experimental with sex, right? Now, if I was to ask any, any woman here, what do you think men think about most of the time? What do you, what do you think men think about most of the time? Football, right? Given the nature of the joke I just told, where do you think I'm going? <laughs> you were about to tell a football joke, right? Me and my girlfriend, we had a five aside match with each other. No, but men are filthy. You think about sex, don't you? You think about sex, don't you? Dirty, disgusting, filthy, disgusting, fucking. Evil, disgusting, filthy, disgusting fucking <laughs> ass, okay? And you're right, right? But the point, the, the problem is, right? Women have got to hold it back a bit. They can't come across as too filthy openly, right? But they suppress it. It's fucking in there. There's women, it's a night. Like, Madam, you look like you could teach primary school, right? I know. I know somewhere in you there's this fucking big titted slut waiting to jump out of and fucking pass on top of that guy and reduce him to a grease stain on the fucking mattress, right? <laughs> He's not your fucking brother or anything, am I? I'm just made him. You're from Ayrshire, right? Uh, that, is, that, is that code for incest up here? Ayrshire. <laughs> <laughs> <Ayrshire. laughs> <laughs> uh, I was with this girl when I was 23, and she wanted to. I'll give you an example, right? I'm talking about. I was in this girl when I was 23 and she wanted to experiment and stuff and I wasn't really good at it, I didn't know. I only know one position in bed and that's conscious, right? So, um, <laughs> and that's only if you've got a good day, right? But uh, she says to me one day, she said, Richard, next time we're having sex, would you mind, would it be okay with you if you stuck your fingers up my ass? Now, that's a really weird question to get asked at your nan's funeral, right? <laughs> Whilst I was giving the eulogy, it wasn't necessary, right? Go ask them later. But I thought, well, I'll give it a go, right? I'm thinking, what's, what's the worst thing that can happen? I'll, you know, I'll try and expect. Now, for those of you who are not sure, right? For those of you who aren't thinking sure, I'll tell you. When I say fingers up the arse, I don't just mean, like, I don't mean like, you know? I don't mean take a running jump off a fucking trampoline and just fucking grab it. I'll show you how to do it, right? Let's say, say the buttocks are here, right? She wasn't a giant or nothing, right? Let's <laughs> <laughs> say the buttocks are here, right? And when you, oh. when you, when you get around here, right, you've just got to start, so just start off gently off one thing and just ease that in there like that. Maybe mix and match, change speeds, change the things, change hands, right? You know, I was really good at it because I used to play the harp, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I get, I've, I've, I've got this finger, right, and I'm, I'm about yay in, yay far in. And uh, there's no easy way to put this, I come across an object, right? <laughs> When I say, not like that, when I say object, I mean it was something obviously like, you know, foreign. Uh, not like a sombrero or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like hard and you know, had edges and that. I thought, well, this can't be right. And you can't say anything at the time. Don't say anything at the time, you'll just spoil the romantic ambulance in the room. And it's like, you're fingering your girlfriend's arse off, for God's sake, right? So I thought, well, I can't just leave this fucking thing here. And I can't say, I thought, well, I, what I'll do is, I'll see if I can get some purchase on this place. <laughs> <laughs> And then, once I've got it, I'll just, I'll just jack it out, throw it in a corner, I'll pick it up in the morning, no one will need nothing, right? Because I'm a fucking gentleman like that, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to fucking... Touch it. And people, when you say men can't multitask, I'm multitasking like a motherfucker, really. <laughs> And I finally get my finger around it, I finally get my finger around it, like, right, here we go, just pull it out, it's like ripping off a plaster or something like that, right? Just do that, and you go, one, two, three, off, right, like that, right? And I'm about to throw it in the fucking corner, and I look at it, and it's, I realise what I'm holding in my hand is a solid gold Rolex watch. Now, now, being polite has gone out the window at this point, I have to fucking inquire as to this, so I said to my girlfriend, darling, why have you got a solid gold Rolex watch shoved up your ass? She looks at me and goes, happy birthday to you! <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, it's been a pleasure talking to you, good night!